The cave of the heart is the realm of the mystics who go to the mountaintop and sit in the silence and commune with God. It's the realm of the masters who have gone into the desert to be in the deepest realms of silence and commune with the divine. We move back to that moment where we made the choice and we see the vision that we could glimpse from the cave of the heart. The vision of those who have walked before us, those who have taught of the mystery. And we see here in the garden what we have called the panorama of enlightenment. It includes in the center panel an image of Jesus. Unity came out of the path of Christianity. And so Jesus stands with his arms extended with the invitation, follow me. There are other paths equally paths of the light. There is a star of David, the Jewish lineage, out of which Jesus came. On the other side is a symbol for the name of Allah, the divine name in the Islamic path. Here in the center are the three paths of Abraham. Abraham was the father of all three of these lineages, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. One family, one lineage of Abraham. Over on this side, we see an image of Buddha representing another path of wisdom and light. And on the side beyond it, we see a Native American totem pole with the eagle, the wings raised, representing this image of the parable of the soul and the ascent into light. On the other side of this panorama, we see two more panels. One of them is the dancing Shiva, representing Hinduism, with Shiva dancing in a circle of flame, a circle of fire. The final panel in this panorama is the symbol of an open circle. The circle has not been closed. It represents all spiritual paths all traditions, paths that are not mentioned, paths that existed in the past, and paths that will exist in the future, past, present, and future as one. The circle is open in this panorama of enlightenment. As we walk toward it, from the realm of the cave of the heart, we are making a commitment to follow the path of being light in the world. 
we will be bringing spiritual gifts of any or all of the lineages back into our expression of living as light and as love. The final part of the last code about realization and return takes us to the last two chapters of this book. It's interesting that chapter 39 is called From Glory to Glory. What happens in these realms is that our life moves into the dimensions of simplicity, including all of the colors of the rainbow, including the dazzling darkness we're seeing through the jewels of the breastplate of love. And we're seeing that in all of the ways that we are called to be in the world. You will know how you are called to be light in the world. You will know how you are called to be love in the world. It will probably include a lot of the gifts that you've lived in your life. Gifts that you can recognize from going all of the way back to Code 4, where we talked about mountaintops and mountaintops of another kind. Here, you are moving into a vaster vision. This is the realm of the causal this is the realm where miracles are natural if you are aligned in that field of miracles. This is the realm that Jesus was referring to when he said, Ask in my name and you will receive. Part of what is asked of us when we ask is that we live and align, breathe and move and express this vibration of light in the world. This is not about our human will, what some have called self-will run riot. This is about a willingness and a surrendering into that which is greater than our individual selves. This is ultimately about the path of oneness. For most on the human plane, we can't see that clearly yet. What we can do is feel it in our hearts and we can find the ways to connect. Heart to heart, soul to soul. 